Hey guys, Alex here, and in today's video, I want to show you a super easy way if you're using SEMrush or Ahrefs to find like the lowest uh, competitive, the lowest keyword difficulty, the, the lowest competitive uh, keywords, like the easiest to rank for uh, using SEMrush or Ahrefs. Uh, super easy strategy. Of course, you will need SEMrush or Ahrefs, um, but let's just jump right into it. So basically, what you want to do is do a search for either Reddit.com uh, or as we have here, Core.com. Right off the bat, if you have no idea what to write about, if you have no idea uh, how to find a niche or choose a niche, you can just sort by keyword difficulty, right? Both Ahrefs and Reddit have this, uh, and you can just really just start, um, that's a little bit weird, uh, but you can really just start going through these keywords and find pulling out niches based on anything that is uh, relevant or interesting, uh, interesting to you, right? And you can do the same here, sorted by uh, keyword difficulty zero, and you would just go through, uh, find keyword ideas just basically based off this. You can export it to chat, you can export it to uh, a spreadsheet, have GPT organize it into topics. Uh, but from here, you can just start your keyword research. Uh, if you're starting from completely scratch, uh, just to find something to start creating content around about the website about. And what's cool with SEMrush and both Ahrefs as well, is you can filter by keywords. So let's say you have a, um, uh, let's say your niche is gardening, right? Uh, and then let's say using Cora, I think this one's Cora, right? Uh, is this one Cora? Yeah, let's say for Cora, you, your niche is, I don't know, passive income, right? What you can do even to niche further down and find actually amazing keywords, excuse me, for your niche is literally just add this keyword, the broad, the broad topic here uh, to search for. And then now you'll have, you know, 8,300 keywords uh, related to gardening uh, that for the most part, as you can see on the right here, are all zero competition uh, or fairly low competition. You're gonna have to verify that manually. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, I can already tell some of these are amazing. Gardening jackets, right? Japan gardening tools, amazing if you have an e-commerce site. Custom gardening gloves, again, amazing if you have an e-commerce site and you wanna sell custom gardening gloves. And you can export the list and just keep going, right? Bulk gardening gloves, amazing if you have an e-commerce site. Warm gardening gloves, a lot of gardening gloves here. That's a great niche, you guys. Maybe I'll start a gardening website. <laughs> uh, but so many of these are going to be relevant and easy to create content around. And you can just, I mean, as you can see here, there's uh, there's dozens of keywords related to gardening, super low competition, barely, barely any work involved uh, to find these keywords, no manual research, research just sorting on, um, on, uh, on for the Reddit and looking at the low competition sites. From here, right, you could click through, you can find, comp you can find competitors, uh, businesses that are ranking for this web for this keyword uh, and then export all of their keywords to just keep building a bigger and bigger list uh, of low competition keywords for your site and it's the same with Cora right um, if you have a website about not even passive income but just how to make money uh, passive income is going to be a subcategory of that and from there uh, you can just scroll through and like some, some a lot of these are pretty awesome right passive income while traveling software developer passive income right passive income for life coaches amazing ideas and again from here uh, you could click through to a keyword and if SEMrush or Ahrefs has this uh, has it um, has the content has this the keyword uh, with information available right if it's on the SERP analysis for it you can click through and even look at this right uh, one of them is softstorageinvesting.com uh, has barely any backlinks the authority of the site is not great uh, and there's even some up here right pinnacle property storage and real estate why self storage is the only real estate investment you should ever make. This is completely irrelevant, right? These two are completely irrelevant for the actual query. So if you do have storage unit, passive income as a blog post um, to sell or whatever, create content around, you can probably jump onto the first page really quickly. Um, that's all I have for you guys. I'm gonna make a video about how to do this for free uh, right after this. Uh, so if you're if you're not using S SEMrush or Ahrefs, you can check that out. Otherwise, super quick video for you guys. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.